I've been invited by the ITC to come and um, have a cupping session of the Papua New Guinea coffees. Today we've been introduced by a representative from ITC about the different types of varieties of coffee and the different flavour profiles that are available from Papua New Guinea. Coffees from different growing regions within the country and also some micro lots which are being developed by women. That's something that's, that's really interesting for us and I've never really opened up uh, and understood about Papua New, New Guinea as an origin as much as I have today. Coffee is one of the uh, key products for Papua New Guinea and its promotion through uh, uh, sporting teams like the Kumus is uh, it, it's good. It will uh, help uh, uh, coffee exports uh, in the future. I think it's absolutely fantastic to take advantage of the rugby World Cup happening here in England and us hosting the Papua New Guinea team here in Warrington. It's a great opportunity to promote the coffee, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. I've just been having a little taste. So we actually met an ITC rep uh, back in August and he invited us to the event and he told us about the amazing things that Papua New Guinea have to offer in the, in the coffee world, in the coffee business. And it just really inspired us to come over, give it a go, have a taste, and this is what we've produced. So this is our Papua New Guinea coffee. We are just incredibly excited. So this is the Oteo Papua New Guinea, and it's the limited edition as well. So it's super special. We like to think that we are speciality coffee roasters, and this is the one, like, people are really going to enjoy it. It's delicious, and it smells really good as well. Yes, well, I'd like to thank uh, the International Trade Centre and the UK Aid for organising this event. Uh, it's been a wonderful experience and I hope that uh, this will set the uh, scene for a lot more uh, opportunities and potential uh, trade between uh, PNG, uh, UK and Europe and the rest of the world.